Good evening. I teach at the Roberto Clemente Middle School in Germantown, Maryland, and I brought some, all right, Marilyn, I brought some awesome 13 and 14 year olds with me tonight. And I brought with me a class that I teach called Rock Band. Now, be, now, before you go all Jack Black on me, you have to understand, I'm gonna throw out a couple buzzwords that are really familiar to us in education. Equitable, enriching, and engaging. Equitable, music education for schools in this country that have music education programs. If kids wanna play instruments at school for free, they can. Clarinets are available. Trumpets are available. Trombones are, are available. But not every kid wants to play that instrument. Some kids want to play electric guitars or drums or keys, and they want to learn to rock out. R all right. But the problem is you can only do that if you have the money to afford private lessons or go to a rock camp. It's what we call the pay-to-play program, and that is inequitable. So. We believe that rock band and every type of music should be offered for free in public school. Not only that, it should be enriching. They don't just go and get to jam out in the corner and do whatever they feel like doing. We study the history of popular music. We start right in the 1950s and we study the music in the context of the culture. Chuck Berry in the context of segregation. Moving on right into the 1960s, the civil rights movement, protest music, Bob Dylan, black empowerment, Motown, into the 70s, into the 80s and into the 90s. And with each of these decades, the kids are getting an enriched education and getting to study the music and the history and the culture of our times. But the last thing, and this is the part I did not anticipate, engaging. I knew the music was great. We all grew up listening to it. We still love it. What I didn't anticipate was that when these kids got up on stage to perform, we weren't just cheering them on for doing a great job. We were involved in the process because this music is music that we grew up listening to. It's our music. If this music, if we wait to teach it another 50 years, no offense, but we're all gonna be gone, and who, you know, it's just gonna be history. By teaching it now, it is engaging. Our grandparents, our parents, our kids, all enjoying this music together. So enriching, engaging, and equitable rock band brought to a school near you. So ladies and gentlemen, may I present to you a group I'm very proud of. The Mer uh, little, uh, Roberto Clemente Middle School Rock Band. <laughs> Dearly beloved, we are gathered here today to get through this thing called life. Electric word life, it means forever and that's a mighty long time, but I'm here to tell you there's something else. The afterworld. A world of never ending happiness. You can always see the sun, day or night. So when you call up that shrink in Beverly Hills, you know the one, Doctor, everything's gonna be all right. Instead of asking him how much of your time is left, ask him how much of your mind, baby. Cause in this life, things are much harder than the afterworld. This life, you're on your own. Break down, go crazy, punch a higher floor. You don't lie, the world you're living in. Take a look around you, at least you got friends. See you call my old lady, for a friend they were. Up the phone, dropped it on the floor. It was all I heard. Oh, we don't know that we are bring us down. Oh no, let's go, let's go crazy. Let's get nuts. But for the purple man, until they put us in the shop. Let's go. We're all excited. 
Thank <laughs> you.